This segment brought to you by Farm Credit Associations of Kansas, lending support to rural America, and by American Ag Service, your DuPont Pioneer dealer. Welcome back to Ag Aim in Kansas. I'm Britton Rucker, and today I have a little treat for you guys. I have two young leaders in ag with me now, Derek and Gwen, who are the Shawnee County Fair King and Queen. So just to kick it off, Derek, will you give us a bit of your ag background? Uh, yeah, since ever since I was born, I've been introduced with sheep and goats. Uh, I've shown sheep for 11 years and goats for six. So I've breeded or bred sheep for 11 years and then I've bred goat for four. Yeah, and I'll kick it off to you, Gwen. Um, ever since I was younger, I loved rabbits. And so I had a rabbit named Lego and I showed him for about six years. I did showmanship, I did breed ID. And so I was very involved in the rabbit project and it was one of my favorite projects in 4-H. Yeah, absolutely. And you are 16 and 17 right mm -hmm. there at the deciding, um, exciting college, deciding age. Have you guys thought about where you might be headed in the future? Yeah, uh, I plan to attend Washburn University and get a degree in forensic chemistry to work at the uh, Kansas Bureau of Investigation. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking about going to Wichita State or Pitt State to go into engineering. Very good. Okay, so tell me a bit about your fair king queen, how those titles are assigned and the process with that. So. Back in April is when applications are sent out and the candidates fill out an application, go through an interview process. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to prepare a speech and then this year with the conditions, it was all on Zoom. And as you guys are king and queen, what are your responsibilities associated with those titles? Um, our responsibilities as king and queen is to promote 4-H to our community and to help others, um, to encourage them to learn more about 4-H and to have them join 4-H so they can learn new things. So as participants in 4-H, what are the benefits of being in 4-H to those who are potentially interested? Uh, you make a lot of new friends and for me it's been public speaking. Uh, before I was really involved in 4-H, I was the shy kid that wouldn't talk to anybody, but now I uh, have worked myself up to giving speeches at uh, national conferences. Yeah, and Gwen? Um, I was shy also when I was younger, and 4 has really helped me in my public speaking, has really um, grown my self-confidence, and I have learned so many life skills that I know I'm going to use in my future. And for those interested in potentially having your title in the future, where would they go to find information? You can find information to join 4-H on the Shawnee County Extension website uh, it's under the 4-H Youth and Development segment. When we return, even though it's early, it's 5 o'clock summer, right? I talk with Jess Solo, Marketing Director for Grace Hill Winery in Whitewater, Kansas. You don't want to miss it. At Farm Credit, we partner with America's farmers who work hard each and every day to grow the food that we all enjoy. It's not an easy task, but it's an important one. Farm Credit is proud to work with farmers and ranchers, lending support in rural America. 